We're Sam and Kelly. Welcome back to our channel. We live full time in our self converted sprinter van. We've been traveling around Colorado for the past couple of months, and this week is very exciting because we have our first van guest. Come along as we explore the highest elevation city in the country and teach our first van guest how to van life. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new video. This is Sam from Sam and Kelly's Van. We got Sunny hanging out here while Kelly's on a work call. We are in Leadville right now in Colorado. It is the highest elevation city in the country, which is pretty cool. Not really too sure what we're doing today. I think we're just gonna check out Twin Lakes and then maybe head to Vail. But either way, we're just gonna take you along for the day. Maybe combine a few days into one video. Also, a really cool thing in Colorado, the trees are starting to change colors. Take a look behind me. This is so beautiful. These aspens are turning yellowish green and hopefully in a few weeks or maybe by the end of the month, it'll be straight up orange, which will be just so beautiful. Also, Leadville has a lot of really cool free camping. We are right by Turquoise Lake right now and we have this entire place to ourselves completely free. There's like, I think 10 or 15 spots along this huge road and right on the other side's a lake. Excited? Are you excited? Look at that tail wag. Oh my god, that tail. Twin Lakes, out of all the lakes we've jumped into since we've been in Colorado, is definitely the warmest. It's still cold, don't get us wrong. It's definitely cold. Sunny and I are gonna stay dry. Now we're gonna leave Leadville and Twin Lakes to head to Vail. So we're taking a quick pit stop in Leadville because they have this incredible skate park. So I'm gonna just go skate around for a little bit. So he's gonna chase us. Kelly's gonna roller skate because we got a lot more driving to do today. So I gotta stretch the legs. Yeah, my first real skate session at a skate park. Skate park! <laughs> Kelly's gonna go hit her first little ramp right here. Change of plans, we did not end up going to Vail because Vail looks really beautiful. I'm sure it's a great place, but it is not camper van, van life friendly. There is a main downtown section, and if you have an oversized vehicle, RV, or a trailer of any kind, you have to park five miles outside of the city and catch a bus. So not really our style. We booked it to Frisco, not San Francisco, Frisco, Colorado. It's a cool little town. And now we're in Silverthorne for the night and we're gonna check out Breckenridge tomorrow. And we'll just see you then. Good morning. We are in Denver, woke up in Denver and we woke up on a residential street in front of Sam's cousins driveway it was super generous of them to allow us to stay in front of their driveway they actually offered us to stay into their house but we really like sleeping in the van so we opted to stay here and we're actually filling up our water here but today is officially the day where our special guest comes we're super excited to have them we're gonna pick them up at the denver airport in a couple of hours i'm gonna finish up some work before then we're gonna clean up the van get some groceries and stuff but we're super excited trying to navigate an airport in an oversized vehicle. <laughs> Best part of having a van is while we wait for her to come out, I'm gonna pee. Are you trying to get in? Ah! Hi! Oh, he's so ah! excited. Ah! Ah! Sunny. Sunny is absolutely obsessed 
obsessed Look with Helena. Auntie. It's your auntie. It's your auntie. Oh. Surprise, oh. our guest is Sam's little sis, Whoa. Helena, and my little sis. She's only two years younger than me, but I think of her yeah. as my baby sister. Yeah, I am your baby sister. You can dance. You can jump. This is the kind of service you'll get if you visit us and stay with us in our van. Ready? <laughs> so our plan was to go to Breckenridge or Leadville, but it's super trafficy on the way there. So we saw Georgetown, <laughs> and we all decided Georgetown looks pretty cute. Let's walk around. So we're gonna do that first. And Sunny's ready to go. And Sunny's ready to go. <laughs> Georgetown is another one of those mining small towns in Colorado. It was actually a mining town for silver. Fun fact and it is a town at the front of the Rocky Mountains. And this is the best part of van life is you just find a town and you pull over, even if it's not where you're meant to be going, and then you just get to experience it. So we're really excited to be here. We are chilling. Helena's buying some artwork right now that is gonna be really cute on her wall at her apartment. And we are excited to show Helena real van life because she has been really excited to test out what van life is actually like. She was like, I want to see you clean your toilet. I want to <laughs> see you fill your water. Like she wants to really experience it because she thinks maybe she could do this one day. So tonight we are going to go to a campsite. Eventually we might keep hitting some small towns, but tonight we're going to go to a campsite, show her what it's really like to live in a van, at least for a day. And then tomorrow we have a fun surprise because Sam and Helena's mom offered to get us a hotel for the night because she didn't know how Helena would be able to handle it and she just wanted to kind of treat us. So tonight will be van life experience and then tomorrow will be our first night out of the van and since like, we first moved in in a couple months basically. Yeah, like, so we're excited to experience that, what it's going to be like not sleeping in the van. It'll be interesting. <laughs> go get some hard kombucha and we just realized this liquor store in Leadville is a drive through liquor store. Never even heard of such a thing. So this is going to be really cool. I'm really excited to do this. Do you guys have hard kombucha? Same yeah. day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day, dude. Leadville, I mean, come on. Not a, it's Leadville is not everyone's cup of tea, but it might be ours. This is the campsite that we scouted out in Leadville a couple of days ago. This is exactly why we came back to Leadville, is to show Helena a true dispersed camping campsite that's really nice. And it has a fire pit. It's time to make dinner. Veggie pasta. Yay! Cheers! We want to do the drill. Yay. I'm doing dishes in a van. I'm trying not but, to use water. Yeah. <laughs> this is a portable campfire. So it's made out of eucalyptus. So what you do is you just light this paper, I'm pretty sure, on top of here. And then it's a safe portable campfire. And when you're done, you just put the lid on top and it's good to go. suggest to put your coffee grinds in your compost toilet. Just be careful where exactly you put it. Just aim, aim well. We just got to a random little basketball court right next to the skate park in Leadville and we're all gonna roller skate because Helena brought her roller skates. So the MT 
empty parking lot was actually really, really bad ground, so we actually just went to the skate park, it was really fun. But now we're gonna take Atlanta to Breckenridge in Frisco. Breckenridge is a Colorado town at the base of the Rocky Mountains. It's known for its ski resort, year-round alpine activities, and its gold rush history. We checked out Breckenridge a couple days before we picked up Helena from the airport, so we knew it would be a great little Colorado town to take her back to. We are going to the hotel. And what are uh, Kelly and I most excited about? Uh, probably to shower yeah. and to jump on the beds. <laughs> oh, that's cute. We did say we wanted to jump on the beds. And to not have to sit next to me tonight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Finally in a hotel, we haven't been out of the van for a night in a few months, so this will be thoroughly enjoyed. We're gonna take very long showers, watch some TV, kick it, and we'll just catch you all tomorrow. Good morning. It is a beautiful Sunday in Frisco, Colorado, and I'm gonna take full advantage of being in a hotel and shave. So we tried to go to the Breckenridge Sunday Farmer's Market, but apparently it closed the first weekend of September. And we're noticing a lot of the summer stuff has been shutting down in Colorado already in September, which makes sense because the fall leaves are changing and all of that. It's still good temperatures out, but even paddle boarding, they told us we couldn't do it because they think the water is too cold. So it's been interesting seeing all the seasons change, but now we are going to do a hike because hikes are good all year long, you know? The hike that we are on is Rainbow Lake Trail, so it's a quick one and a half mile hike. We only have a couple hours until we need to take Helena to the airport, so this will sadly be the last activity we do with her, but it's beautiful. There's the fall trees everywhere, and we're just gonna have a good time. Should Helena go in? Oh, she's actually gonna jump in. We were joking. I feel like van life is amazing, and now I want to do it. Even though okay. I don't like to drive, but like I feel like I can figure that part out. Yeah. Um, and I think you guys were excellent hosts. You explained everything to me very well, and were very supportive of me when I took a in the woods. She said it. Hey, I yeah. just want to say that neither of you guys have even in the woods yet. Yeah. And I'm and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Helena. Be safe. Text us when you get in. After a couple months of living in the van and traveling, we're getting used to this new lifestyle. To have someone new come in and experience this all with us, even for a short time, has given us a fresh perspective. We're looking at this with new eyes again and are extremely grateful that we can call this our life. Thank you for watching this video and being along for the journey.